All right, hi everyone. So doing another chess thing. I'm sorry for doing these kind of lower effort videos twice in a row, but that's just kind of how it worked out. Hopefully sometime soon, just to be getting a bit more diverse content, but either way, we gotta, let's just get into it. All right, so right off the bat, um, we're playing white. There's a uh, pawn on e 3 hanging the bishop and the pawn in front of it and the queen so lots of like good material the king's on a black square so we don't have an opportunity for an immediate fork with the knights neither knight it seems and our f knight the knight on f7 is under attack i'm thinking this is a checkmate because there's like a nice, uh, is h8 just a checkmate? Just looking at what squares we have. Yeah. Right? Oh, it was not a checkmate, but it was right. So. A bishop did get taken. But I mean, even after that, that's the only square the king has, right? So. Yeah, all right. It's <coughs> a pretty easy one. Let's move on. All right. I know I'm gravitating towards the checkmate or check threat again. I noticed that, um, I think I got it. So the immediate idea is that you want to make a fork, right? right with the uh, knight, the knight on d5 to e7 is an obvious move attacking the king and the rook but that square is that e7 forking square is protected by the knight on c6 but we can capture that knight with our rook and then the fork still works because the square it lands on to protect is still um in range of our knight. My only, my one concern is um, the material exchange, but no, no, we get, we get two minor pieces and a rook for a minor piece and a rook, so it does work out. Gotta make sure to do it in the right order. I almost clicked on the knight first. Yeah, all right. Two for two, let's keep going. All right, so the knight on g4 is loose. Um, nothing else, I think, maybe a pawn or two, but. Okay. Um, we're just looking around, do we have, like... Okay, we have that knight on b4, threatening a fork on c2. Once again, it's protected by the queen on d1, which is also protecting the knight on f3. But it's also being protected by the bishop. So bishop takes knight, we have bishop takes bishop. I mean, that knight's also protecting um, the g5 bishop. So is it just bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, bishop takes bishop? That would make sense, yeah. Either path you end up after this capture. Yeah, either way you end up with something. In our case, we pick up that bishop. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is going pretty smooth here. Fourth puzzle. 
could we have two knights buried pretty deep in their territory? And nothing looks to be loose on their end. But, hmm. Right, so I guess that e7 square is a forking square. It's guarded by the queen, which is also guarding. Oh. Okay, I think I got it already, again. I think after queen takes knight, right? We've got uh, the queen on f3 taking the knight on d5. The queen has to go pick it up, and then that have from going having both the queen and the knight guarding the e7 square to it being unguarded so we can move our knight um, e7 and pick back up a queen winning a knight. All right. And we'll do one more. All right, um, I don't see any immediate threats quite as obvious. Uh, the queen, their queen on d7 is technically loose. I think like a pawn on e, e7. I'm seeing like, my first thought would be like a queen move. Like queen takes h7, but I see they have that bishop protecting everything. And this one is kind of hard to like see good attacks on the other player because everything's they got that nice like pawn shield that's kind of hard. We have our dark square bishop, but all of their major pieces are in light squares too, so that doesn't really help us. Hmm. My first thought would be to have, like, distract the dark bishop. But it's not doing anything, so, like... You could, like, kick the rook, I guess. But no, that would drop the knight. I was thinking, like, b3, but that drops the knight, so that doesn't work. I think one of the main ideas is that our rook... I should say their rook and our queen are looking at each other, so... We need to either... Oh wait, if we just take... If queen takes rook, after pawn takes queen, we have rook takes queen. If you win a pawn, is that it? That seems like a reasonable... Okay, and there we go. That's five for five. Today was short, but in a really good way. I don't know. It's currently like 2 a.m. I guess that's kind of given me a really good rhythm because I just kind of... It normally doesn't go this smooth. I'm surprised. I'm pretty proud of how this one turned out. Um, Yeah, all right. Thanks for watching.